Okay, so I'm back. As you can tell, I changed my shirt. Um, as you can see, my door's open. So I'm probably going to shut that. Anyway, um, finished this eye. Mostly comb my hair, which looks kind of weird right now. But anyway, um, what happened was I had to stop because my neighbor's kid got sick and she needs some help. So went and helped her. Um, put eyeliner on the bottom. Um, just going to put some... So stay with me. Um, a little bit of CoverGirl blush. It says Cheekers on it. Don't really know what color it is because I forgot. And it's not on the back of the box. So we're just going to put this on. And I'm using this little little, little bitty brush. You know, came with the... Yeah. You know what these brushes are. They're free. Yeah. So... Yeah, so then I'm put it on there. Okay. Okay. Um. Anyway. <clears throat> As I got interrupted, um, conventions when you go to them are really awesome things. Um, they get a bad rap sometimes from people. Um. Don't know why. Uh, Sci-fi conventions are pretty cool. I've been to a bunch. And I've never not had a good time. Um, if you're into sci-fi, if you're into any kind of fandom, you know what I'm talking about. Doctor Who, Star Trek, Star Wars, Battleship Galactica. Um, just a myriad of different things. Okay, um, You know that like, movies and, like, The Walking Dead and, you know, stuff like that that you really are into. Like, most conventions have a lot of those things in them. Like, people that you can meet from The Walking Dead or movies that you've seen, Star Trek, Star Wars, stuff like that. If you're really into that, I would really highly suggest you go to a convention because, as I said before, it's cheap. And it's a really good way to meet your, your fan, you know, meet the people that you really like. So, I would suggest doing it. Okay, anyway, so let's finish with this. Okay, so, probably put too much freaking makeup on this thing. Anyway, because I'm sitting here doing this while I'm talking to you. Okay, so, we'll put that back in there. Maybe it'll stay. Alright, so, got my cheeks done. I do that usually after I get them done. How's it look? Of course, this looks weird. Because of the way that you're looking at me. Yeah, I look like a monk. Anyway. Bought this. Um, it's Cover Girl. Uh, no, actually I'm wrong. It's Revlon. Um, Revlon. Uh, Ultra HD Matte Lipstick. Look color. Um... Really like it. Stays on for a really long time. Um, even after you eat and drink and stuff, it, it stays on. And it looks really pretty. Um, I'm not really a fan of red lipstick. But after I tried this, oh, and it smells really good too. It smells like um, candy. <sighs> anyway, um, usually when I put lipstick on, the best thing to tell you is to follow the line of your lips. Okay, because you put it over that line, it looks like, you know, that little old lady that you see walking down the street with lipstick all over her face. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So, we're just going to do this, okay? Okay, and then we're going to do the upper lip. One, the, one side. Go do the other side. Okay. 
Okay, so mine's a little crooked, but you get the gist. Usually what I do after I put lipstick on, to avoid getting it on my teeth, let's see, it's on my finger. Lipstick's on my finger instead of on your teeth. Are you serious? Like, what the hell is that? Probably something I ate earlier. Anyway, it's been nice talking to you. It's been nice getting to know you. Hopefully, I will upload this video sometime today. And <clears throat> hopefully, if I get any response from it, which I doubt, because I'm not a big star. Um, if you want to see another one, like. Um, let me know. If you want to see future videos, I might make another one today just to see how well I do on camera. If that makes any sense. Okay. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you later.